Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. All right, as the title of the video states, I'm going to tell you how to make money on the DoorDash delivery gig or any other delivery gig. I'm going to show you a cost of living calculator, and then you need to answer the question, am I making the right money at this job? First thing right off the bat is you need to minimize your expenses as much as you can, and we're talking gasoline. You burn gas in order to drive around and make these deliveries. Pay as little as you can in your market in your city where you are working you've got to try to find a source of gasoline that has some discounts available in my market central iowa ames iowa we have a sam's club membership store they also have gasoline pumps 45 dollars a year gets me the base annual card membership at this sam's club which gives me access to the gasoline 45 dollars a year Sam's Club sells their gas from anywhere between 25 and 45 cents less than all the other convenience stores and gas stations in town. Using the low range of the discount, 25 cents per gallon less, divide $45 by 25 cents and you get 180 gallons. I can divide that by 25 gallons, which is a full fill up on Speedwagon. And the result is 7.2 full fill-ups, and I have recouped the cost of my $45 annual membership, and from there on out, everything is money in my pocket. Seven fill-ups. I fill up two to three times a week. Literally in three weeks, I have paid for my membership, and everything is money in my pocket from there on out. I'm a Prime Amazon member, and I have a Visa card through Chase Bank with them that returns me points, rewards, you know, when I buy stuff on Amazon, and it also is 2% points on gasoline purchases. Those points go towards my Amazon account, in which I can buy stuff on Amazon. Many gas stations, and even in alignment with grocery stores, have some kind of redeeming or points program. Look into it in your area, find out which one is the best, and get it. Okay, so we got that out of the way. There are tons of videos on YouTube about DoorDash and other delivery gigs on how to make money and how much you should be making per hour and yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm throwing my hat into the ring. Here comes another one. The good YouTube channels, they tell you the thing that I tell you, you know, learn your market, know your market, and work your market. But the thing that I've almost never seen on any other DoorDash YouTube channel is talking about cost of living. You may watch a video from a specific YouTuber who is just telling you every day that you get on there and watch his videos or her videos, you know, they're making 25, 30 bucks per hour and you're thinking to yourself, geez, these guys are masters. They know how to work the system. How come I can't make that kind of bank? Well, the most likely reason is, is they live in a very high cost of living area compared to you and everything is adjusted up the base pay, the tips, everything. But remember, they're also paying a lot more for gas. Sometimes these content creators, these DoorDash YouTube channels will tell you where they live, or you can, you know, sometimes uh, freeze the frame and spot the map and see where they're at. And then, you know what, go to the internet and find out what the cost of living is in their market and see exactly how that all translates and relates to where you're working and living. Just recently, a DoorDash YouTube channel that I'd never seen before popped up on my feed, and she was uh, doing the thing where she says, okay, you know, I'm going to take every order that the DoorDash wants me to, you know, let's just see how it works, you know, one of those, you know, tests. She says, you know, my regular viewers know that I usually don't like to make anything less than 20 bucks per hour, but she's going to go ahead and tank that as the experiment for the viewers, you know, and take just about every order that comes her way. She had a screen capture from her phone that showed the map of the market that she was working and I was able to determine quite easily that she's in the Portland, Oregon area. As of the date that I create this video, which happens to be Friday, January 21st, 2022, Gas Buddy is showing gas at $3.49 a gallon in the Portland area. By comparison, here in Nevada, Iowa, where I live, it's currently at $3.19 a gallon, a full 30 cents less than Portland, Oregon. That's a big difference. 
Speed wagon takes 25 gallons to fill. That's $7.50 difference between filling up in Nevada, Iowa and Portland, Oregon. The cost of living just doesn't uh, affect gasoline prices. Oh no, it's uh, how much it costs for housing, daycare, how much a car costs, how much a TV costs. It affects everything. So how can you establish a metric and see how what you're making compared to what they're making all lines up? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you need to do, and I'll have a link in the video description and in a pinned comment, is head over to bestplaces.net. Over here at bestplaces.net, come over to the cost of living tab and click on it. Scroll on down. Now this is a comparison. You know, you live in one city and you're going to move to another city. But what we're going to do here is I'm just going to type in Ames, Iowa, and enter. Then the comparison city, Ames, Iowa, again. Annual salary, annual income, don't worry about that, and just hit calculate. All right, here we go. This is what we're looking for here. Overall index, Ames, Iowa is a 90.3. The U.S. is an average 100. Okay, now we're going to come back and we're going to redo this. And we're going to put in Portland, Oregon. Calculate. Portland, Oregon, overall index, 132.4. Wow. Portland, Oregon is 40 points more expensive to live in than Ames, Iowa. That minimum 20 bucks per hour this YouTuber says she wants to make doesn't look that juicy when you think that I'm making the exact same thing in Ames, Iowa. Or is it? How do we quantify and put a metric to these numbers? Well, I think I've got the answer. So I've created a spreadsheet here that I think is going to be able to show us how a cost of living, uh, miles per gallon and hourly pay, can radically uh, affect how much money you're actually bringing in. Okay, so over here, this calculator here that is surrounded by the yellow border, this is where you would input, and we're going to just use one hour, this is per hour that we're looking at. The gray areas are where you are going to input figures. The light pink areas are calculator at work. Okay, so we got one hour, 20 bucks uh, pay. That's 20 bucks an hour. We're going to say we get 20 miles per gallon. Gas costs three dollars. We drove 10 miles. Okay, so we see the calculators at work here. The hourly pay was $20 since we worked one hour, and we used a half a gallon of gas. It cost $1.50. Our per mile metric is $2. Okay, we come over to the right here. We've got our expenses calculator. All of this is automatically configured and calculated based on your inputs. I'm using 5% deduction for my vehicle maintenance and 15% in taxes. You can change these two up here in the light purple to better reflect your uh, personal deductions if you wish. Okay, so it comes all down here to after all of our expenses, we made $14.50 per hour. So I manually inputted that over here underneath the US average, which is 100. We saw that from uh, bestplaces.net. This gray area here, that's a manual input, 1450. I divided this 1450 by 100 and get 0.1450. All right, over here on the right hand side, your city. Right now it's showing 100, which is the US average. Now this 1450 here is taken directly from this 1450 here. It shifts over. So if you change anything up here, it'll automatically reflect the change right here. This we're going to leave alone as our control, our base. So the average US number is 100. So we see over here on the right, our cost of living factor as I call it is zero, which means you're even with the US average. Let's come over here. And we're going to put in the 90 that they show for Ames, Iowa. All right, over here to this cost of living, and this, you know, everything else up here in the yellow calculator remain the same. 
So the cost of living factor shows 1.61 to the positive, Ames, Iowa, versus the U.S. average. Let's put in that Portland, Oregon number of 130. Wow. And again, everything's remained static up here in the yellow calculator. Minus 3.35 versus the average United States for $20 worth of pay. Wow, wow, wow. So we're gonna come up here to B2. That's the pay. We can change that. Let's put that up to $25 an hour. Okay, wow, what a change. Right over here on the cost of living factor, we see it launched all the way up to only minus 0.27 versus the US median, which is 100. We've left the 1450 as it was from our base, okay? So you can now see that $25 per hour versus the 20 in Ames, Iowa, in Portland, Oregon, we're, we're getting somewhere, okay? Miles per gallon, let's come over here. Let's say that you're getting 25 miles per gallon instead of just 20. 0.04, we're getting higher there, we're getting higher there. All right, let's say we didn't actually drive 10 miles, let's say we only drove five miles. Now we're in the green. Okay, you kind of see how this uh, calculator all works out? So what you can do is put in the pay that you intend to make or you need to make, put in your miles per gallon, put in your miles, and let the calculator do its work, and then input your city into this field here, and you can compare how you're doing to the rest of the country. Theoretically, I guess, if you got down to zero, you're at the US average wherever you live. A negative number is not good, a positive number is great. Okay, here's the calculator spreadsheet that I will use. I've changed the numbers within the yellow bordered calculator to more accurately reflect uh, my lifestyle and what is happening in DoorDash. So you see I've got my target of $20 per hour. Speedwagon gets about 13 miles per gallon. I'm paying $2.84 currently for a gallon of gas. I'm leaving the mileage at 10 because that is about how many miles per hour I drive. I have found out, you know, you'll want to change that number to more accurately reflect uh, your hourly mileage. Over to the right, the expenses calculator there, we see that that number has changed to 1382, and then I manually inputted that 1382 over here under the cost of living USA average in that gray slot right there for our base hour control. Then we input the 90, which is the cost of living uh, index factor from uh, bestplaces.net, which is 90, and we see that I'm at a positive 1.53 versus the US average at $20 per hour. Now, it might not be proper or correct to be using the hourly pay after all expenses, you know, to reach this metric, but here's the thing, as long as everything is common, then you know, we can times things times 100, we can subtract 10, we can multiply by four. It doesn't matter the calculation, how we get to what we get, as long as we do that over and over again and maintain the consistency uh, in how we reach our metric. I'm no financial wizard or math wizard, but uh, as I was uh, playing around and trying to create this calculator spreadsheet, I wanted to be able to show negative red, you know, and positive black. And this is what I come up with. If you find an error or something like that, let me know. So like I said, if you'd like to have this uh, calculator spreadsheet, just email me and I'll uh, email it to you as an attachment. The calculator within the yellow border, you know, if you follow me along, that's pretty much the calculator that I use that I track my uh, earnings, you know, on a daily and weekly basis. So you've got that right there uh, to play with and to use. Uh, and then of course the uh, cost of living factor as I call it. So anyway, you know, the main purpose behind this whole uh, exercise here is if uh, you're watching a YouTuber, you know, doing DoorDash and he's living in San Francisco and he says, hey, I made $25 an hour yesterday. Woohoo, yeah. You know, you can plug in the numbers for San Francisco and find out that you, you know, in uh, little old Iowa or little old Wisconsin or, you know, somewhere down in Texas, that you're doing a hell of a lot better than he is at $15 an hour. You know what I'm saying.
All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time.